It is heartbreaking for the families. Law enforcement officers deal with so much trauma. It should be a lot easier for them to get the help they need. These families probably had no idea because we didn't see it coming, though, with Kyle. It just all of a sudden, one day, what do you mean he wants to kill himself? Four suicides in two days involving former and current employees of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department may be shocking to most people, but not to Laura Linder, founder of the nonprofit Exclusively First Responders. After her son-in-law, Kyle Sword, at the time an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy, suddenly wanted to kill himself, Linder discovered a sad reality in law enforcement. They talk about that whole brotherhood, oh yeah, everything together, together, but when, one, when there's one weak link, they push it out. They turn their backs. They don't call anymore, they don't show up, they're, they're just gone. He had told me that he was ready to die. Michaela Sword is Kyle's wife. I didn't know any resources, and me as a wife, I feel like that should be very known to family members, so when you see um, that your loved one is spiraling, you know who to reach out to. Because I also didn't know who to reach out to. I didn't want my husband to lo lose his job. I was a stay-at-home mom with little kids. While seeking help, Michaela says her husband was pushed out of the department. There are so many officers I know that have talked about committing suicide who I never thought in a million years would even think about it or talk about it. Christina Coria is a retired Santa Monica police officer who's dealt with a lot. She was struck by the car of a DUI driver and years later injured at a shootout at Santa Monica Pier. There's so many officers out there that are struggling with their identity, with finances, with relationship um, issues, with addictions to pain meds, um, addiction to alcohol. You name it, there's so many things going on that our departments are not reaching out to them enough. Some of the struggles for first responders include trauma on the job, lack of public support, family or financial troubles, injuries on the job, feeling of abandonment after injuries, and lack of financial compensation, lack of support from superiors, forced medical retirement, and lack of sense of self after retirement. What they see on a daily basis, we cannot even imagine, and they can't unthink what they see. It's sad that these officers, you know, didn't get the help that they, they I'm sure they wanted and were looking for. And we learned tonight from the spokesperson for the L.A. County Sheriff's Department that so far this year, eight people have died by suicide. Marla, Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Very shocking news there, Gina. Thank you.